Dallas ISD makes up nearly half of all truancy cases in the state of Texas, and now the county is changing the way it deals with students who skip school. Fox 4's Alex Boyer is outside Dallas ISD headquarters with details. Alex. Well, Heather, this year DISD has seen a huge drop in the number of truancy cases that make it to court, and that's because they've modified the way that they count a student as being absent. But keep in mind that this is just really being tested out right now. Ultimately, it will be up to the state legislature to approve this change and some of the 23 other recommendations made by a special truancy committee. Inside Camelia Brown's credit recovery class. Go back, do it again, check it. These students who attend W.H. Adamson High School in Dallas. Which one do you think it is, the first one or the second one? Are catching up on coursework they've missed, many from being chronically absent. <laughs> Dallas ISD is dealing with a huge truancy problem. It was rather um, disconcerting that half of the truancy cases in the state of Texas came from Dallas ISD prompting Dallas County to take a new strategy. Let me make this very clear. A student cannot learn if they're not in school, so it's very important that they come to school. However, if they don't come to school, we need to figure out why they're not at school. Over the past year, a committee appointed by Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings and Judge Clay Jenkins looked at the reasons why students were skipping school and were surprised by some of the answers they found. Students might have to get a job to help pay the bills or be taking care of a sick family member. And if that's the case, sending them to court is going to, you know, be a, an even greater struggle for that family. As part of their list of 24 recommendations, the committee wants Texas lawmakers to remove language in the state statute that considers a student truant if they miss part of the day or are late three times. We will deal with that at the campus level. and We'll deal with that at an individual level, and that will not be referred to the courts. Superintendent Michael Hinojosa says the recommendations are meant to be more compassionate towards students and ensure they're able to stay in the classroom. Yeah, won't you make sure you read? Yeah, read everything thoroughly. With a visit to the courthouse used only as a last resort. And some of the other changes at the school level, uh, Dr. Hinojosa mentioned, includes after school resources. He also says that several counselors at the schools have volunteered to become mentors to these students as well. Now, Dr. Hinojosa also added that he's not naive to the fact that there are still going to be those students who skip school for no good reason at all. Those are the students whose cases he wants to see end up in court. And if they do, those students could ultimately be fine. Heather? All right, Alex, live. Thank you.